Hey everyone, Amanda here. Okay, so for today's video, I wanted to talk about rumination, and um, I wanted to read part of an article to you from Psychology Today. And I will put the information in the description box below. Okay, so Margaret Werenberg, PsyD, Depression Management Techniques. Rumination, a problem in anxiety and depression. Uh, okay, here we go. Rumination is one of the similarities between anxiety and depression. Ruminating is simply repetitively going over a thought or a problem without completion. When people are depressed, the themes of rumination are typically about being inadequate or worthless. The repetition and the feelings of inadequacy raise anxiety and anxiety interferes with solving the problem. Then depression deepens. Brain function plays a role in rumination in several ways. One but one significant aspect of brain function relates to memory. People remember things that relate to each other in neural networks. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize if I sound funny. I have a, the pollen count is high, so I have a little bit of an allergy thing going on, so I apologize. And when people enter a woe is me network, the brain lights up connections to other times they felt this way. Ruminating is worsened by another difficulty of the, depress the depressed and anxious brain. Inability to, inability to flexibly generate solutions. Brain chemistry makes it hard to switch to another perspective to find the way out of problems. So rumination, in, rumination intensifies. Both anxiety and depression are then reinforced. And there's more to that, but... You guys can look at that article if you would like to read that. Uh, okay, so I just wanted to talk about it, like my experience. Um, I have always ruminated. I didn't know what it was called. I didn't know that it was actually a thing until I was diagnosed and I started doing research. And that is when I found out about rumination. Um, I find it very uh, difficult because it, on top of the rumination with bipolar, when you get racing thoughts, it's very, very unpleasant. Um, and it's really, it's really not a fun experience for me. I don't like it. I don't like that my brain constantly goes over things and over things and over things. And it's so repetitive. It almost feels like a compulsion. You know? And it's something that I'd like to work on. Um... And I talked about feeling inadequate worthless I definitely have those thoughts and feelings about myself a lot I mean sometimes I do feel good and happy but a lot of times I'm very very sad I'm very you know I think that I, I have you know little bouts of depression here and there and maybe I recognize it maybe I don't but I do know that um I, I feel very insecure at times, and um, the constant thoughts going through my head of the same thing over and over and over and over again. I, I don't want, I don't want this, you know, I, I don't want this to be something that takes over my brain, and I kind of feel that it has, it's, it, because it, it raises so much anxiety that sometimes I cannot function. 
sometimes I need assistance. You know, a situation happened and I had to deal with it and I felt anxiety from the moment that it was set in motion until now and I still feel the anxiety. And I don't know why I feel that anxiety. Maybe it's adrenaline, I don't know. But it's very, very um, unpleasant for me. And also, I don't know if people experience this, but sometimes the fear, the anxiety, because when I get anxious, I get fearful. And sometimes I get angry. I don't know if that's something that other people experience, but I do. I do experience that. And it all stems from the same place, you know? And I don't want to be this way. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a journey. It's my life, it's my journey. So I just gotta keep going on and figuring it out, you know? So yeah, um, and it's, I like when it, it's interesting that it talked about, you know, it, that, that the brain function relates to memory. People remember things that are related to each other in neural networks and when people enter a woe is me network, the brain lights up connecting to other times they felt that way. That is so true. That is so true because something might trigger me or whatever. And I think about it, and then I think about something that happened, and then something that happened, and, and all this stuff. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's over. It's done. But it becomes a constant thought in my brain. And it feels like it takes over. I, I literally feel like an, an actual heaviness. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually very anxious talking about this. Maybe that's why I never... I haven't made a video of this yet because maybe deep down inside I knew I was really, really anxious about it. But I'm putting it out there because I want people to know that they're not alone and, you know, maybe you can relate to what I'm saying in some way and that, you know, I'm here for you and that's okay, you know? Alright, thank you for watching. I love you all and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.